So now that we've got more and more people with access to Bitcoin and, and, and owning it and having wallets either on their, their computer or their phone, it's only likely that businesses are, are going to want to accept it and support this new, uh, the new method of payment. Um, so before getting into the uh, how a business goes about accepting Bitcoin, I think it's, it's worthwhile to talk a little bit about why they would uh, want to make this decision. Um, Bitcoin allows for uh, lower fees when it comes to processing transactions. So uh, businesses today are used to, uh, when they accept things like Visa and MasterCard, they're, they're, they're used to paying fees upwards of 3 to 4% along with different monthly fees. Uh, with Bitcoin, it's actually much lower, and you'll see fees uh, around 1% or a half percent. Uh, some services are offering uh, zero processing uh, fees when it comes to, to Bitcoin. So, so right there, it's a way to lower your costs by uh, accepting Bitcoin. The next is, is really having access to a new customer base and, and really thinking about it from a global perspective. Uh, there's people all around the world who now can use this universal method of payment in order to buy goods and services from your business. And, and people are, are looking to support companies that uh, are accepting of, of Bitcoin. Uh, the next two, uh, zero fraud and chargebacks. So in the classic case with a credit card, there's the, the risk of fraud and, and, and chargebacks after a transaction is completed. Uh, with Bitcoin, the, a, a payment is, is irreversible, so once it's done, it's done. There are ways in which to support things like refunds, but in the case of uh, fraud, uh, transactions are verified on the blockchain, and the, the concept of a chargeback uh, really doesn't exist. Um, the other thing that you've seen with, with the ability to pay through a, a mobile device is the fact that now you can take a payment anywhere, so you don't have to be... Uh, in an actual physical location uh, like a store. You can be, um, for instance, a taxi company uh, can take payment right in the car uh, using just a phone or a tablet and being able to uh, accept payment that way. Um, and also the convenience for the customer. Uh, again, in the, the previous lesson, we talked a little bit about how we actually use uh, a wallet to pay uh, with Bitcoin and, and you can see that the experience is so much better. Um, it's simply scanning a QR code and, and clicking the send button. Uh, there's no chance for uh, credit card numbers to be compromised or stolen so the security and the simplicity is, is, is so much uh, more improved uh, by using Bitcoin. So Getting into the, the actually the how of, of a business would go about accepting it, there's really a few ways in which they can go about it. Um, one is simply by having their own wallet and uh, exposing the uh, public key address to uh, anybody who wants to pay them. Um, very simplistic method. It, it works for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. It works for a uh, person paying a business. It's um, You don't get a lot of additional features and functionality um, that a business might require by doing this, but it's a very simple way in, in, in which to get started. Um, the other way is by going through a, a payment gateway similar to what we're building at, at CoinZone. So what we offer is uh, s simple integrations, whether you're a online merchant or retail or a combination of the two. So. Think about an online store who has a few products and it's as simple as creating a button that then links to a payment page and a customer can, can then easily check out and uh, the gateway handles that whole process and uh, just sends you fiat currency if, if that's what you're um, looking to, to, to hold. Um, the other are different kinds of plugins. So, what you don't get with a simple wallet um, are plugins to maybe an existing uh, e-commerce platform that you're using. So, uh, for instance, maybe you're using uh, PrestaShop or WooCommerce or Magento to run a store. And in the case of the earlier example with Overstock, it's really just adding another uh, type of payment and, and the gateway handles uh, everything after that for you. Uh, in the case of a retail location, Again, we talked about uh, an actual app that's running on a phone or a tablet and 
uh, a gateway like CoinZone can offer uh, applications for Android and, and, and iPhone, iPad in order to uh, very easily take a, a Bitcoin payment from anywhere. Um, other things you might get with a, 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 an actual merchant provider would be different solutions around uh, accepting donations or if you're a freelancer or a consultant being able to send uh, invoices to your customers. So uh, maybe you bill them and you want to send uh, an email with a PDF attached to it. Um, there'd be ways in which to uh, accept Bitcoin uh, through more of a uh, client uh, relationship. Uh, other things you might get to would be the ability to support multiple languages. So a simple wallet uh, isn't going to offer you uh, typically the ability to change the language based on what the, the customer is speaking. So one of the great things about Bitcoin is, is, is it opens up your business to accepting payments from any, anywhere around the world. Uh, the only problem is, is that um, they need to understand the, the checkout process. So having uh, a payment experience that um, supports many languages is, is obviously important. Um, and certainly shielding yourself from the, the risk of the price of Bitcoin going up and down. So if you accept payment through a simple wallet, um, you're at risk of the price uh, fluctuating. Uh, if you use a solution like CoinZone, you can set it up so that the minute you receive Bitcoin, we automatically exchange it out and you just get fiat currency, whether it's euros um, sent into your bank account. So there's uh, zero risk. And also the, the issue around security using a, an actual platform can can improve overall the, the, the security of your transactions.